Let's get some practice with the basic low-level command for the Debian packaging system, dpkg, or dpackage. So to get a list of all the packages on the system, I can simply type dpkg dash dash list. And I'll just pipe that into list because it's a long list. Okay. Actually, if I don't use list for some reason, it's more compact. Okay, so there are a lot of different packages on the system. Now, if I want to see some information just about a particular package, I could just grep, let's say, bzip2 to see what's going on with bzip2. And that's the information about bzip2 that tells us the version number, the architecture, which here is AMD64, and its description as a high quality block sorting file compressor utility. So it's a more advanced program and with better compression than gzip or the old fashioned zip program. If I want to see what's actually contained in that package, I can do dpkg list files and then the name of it. And then I'll go slower by putting it into less. And you see there's the executables in the bin directory. And then what's under user is basically documentation under user share doc, user share man, etc. If I try to remove the package, let's see what happens. So do su do dpkg. I of course have to have root privilege to remove the package. So I'm removing bzip2, dpackage remove bzip2. And it's telling me I cannot do this because I need the developer in package, dpkg-dev. That would be headers and stuff for programs which use uh, this in a library version. And FireRoller, which is an archive extractor that's common on Linux systems. So I would have to remove all three of them. We'll see later when we use tools like apt-get, it's easier to deal with these dependencies.